dear students next chapter is oscillations in this chapter we are going to study what is a simple harmonic motion and what are the different types of simple harmonic oscillators and today let us start with a periodic motion we know that if the position of a body changes with the time then the body is said to be in motion that is consider a body which is placed at this point and after a 5 seconds the body it gets displaced to another point and then the body is said to be in motion because its position changes with the time that is whenever there is a change in position with the time the body is said to be in motion and this motions are of different types here we are considering a periodic motion for that consider the motion of earth around the sun and the earth will takes it about 365 days to complete one rotation around the sun ee 365 days le earth oru rotation undakunu then adutha 365 days le adutha rotation possible aanu then adutha 365 days le adutha rotation ingane 365 days interval of time vechittaanu ivide motion execute cheynathu ee motion de prathegatha endanannu parnal here the period is fixed the period is 365 days this period is fixed and the motion is repeated that is we are considering two things one the period which is fixed and the motion which is repeating and such type of motions are called periodic motion that is a motion which repeats itself in equal interval of time is called a periodic motion this interval of time is called a period in the case of periodic motion the period is fixed and the motion is repeated the example is motion of earth around the sun then consider another motion consider a body which is placed at this point and this point is labeled as a and from this point this body moves to one direction and then it comes back to the same point a and after that it goes to the opposite direction and after that it comes back to the same point a that is about the point a the body executes to and fro motion to and fro motion that is about the point a the body executes to and fro motion and such a type of motion is called the oscillatory motion that is if a body moves to and fro repeatedly about a mean position here the mean position is the point a and about the point a the body executes to and fro motion and such a type of motion is called an oscillatory motion and we know a familiar example of the oscillatory motion that is the motion of a simple pendulum that is a simple pendulum means it is a very small bob which is attached to a flexible light weight or weightless string and the motion of this simple pendulum it is or the oscillation of the simple pendulum is oscillatory one that is it is a to and fro motion and hence it is a oscillatory motion that is the motion of earth around the sun is an example of periodic motion and the motion of or the oscillation of a simple pendulum is an example of oscillatory motion that is consider the motion of earth around the sun here the motion is rotatory one or in other ways it is a periodic one because it repeats in a regular interval of 365 days and hence the motion of earth is periodic but this motion is not an oscillatory that is the motion of earth around the sun is not an oscillatory motion because the motion of earth around the sun is not a to and fro one and hence it is not an oscillatory one but at the same time the motion of or the oscillation of simple pendulum is an oscillatory one 
at the same time it is a periodic one that is the motion of earth around the sun is a periodic one but not an oscillatory but the most motion sorry the oscillation of a simple pendulum is oscillatory and periodic it means that all oscillatory motions are periodic but all periodic motions may not be oscillatory that is all oscillatory motion is periodic ayirikku adhe samayam thanne all periodic motion is oscillatory aganamennilla that is periodic motion nu parayunnathu or regular interval of time will repeat cheyna motion aanu oscillatory motion nu parayumbol or mean position base cheythu to and from motion aanu appol ella oscillatory motion periodic aanu adhe samayam ella periodic motion um oscillatory motion aaganamennilla next is the some important terms related to the simple harmonic motion one is the period and frequency we are familiar with the word period period means it is the smallest interval of time after which the process repeats itself it is called period in the case of rotatory motion the time taken for one complete rotation is called a period but in an oscillatory motion the time taken for one complete to and fro motion is called a period that is in the case of earth motion the period is 365 days because the time taken by the earth for one complete rotation is 365 days then the number of periodic motions whether it is vibration or oscillation the vibration means the oscillation which have a very high frequency whether the motion is vibration vibratory or oscillatory the number of motions made in one second is called a frequency and this frequency is represented by the letter nu and the period is represented by t the period t is measured in seconds si unit of frequency is hertz next term is the angular frequency the angular frequency means it measures the rate of angular displacement and it is called the angular velocity that is the rate of angular displacement is called angular velocity or it is the angle described by a rotating body in one second it is called the angular velocity that is the angular velocity it measures how fast or slow a body is rotating how fast or slow a body is rotating and this angular velocity means it's the angular displacement in one seconds angular displacement in one seconds suppose a body which makes a displacement from this a point and it makes a displacement to the b point that is the body displaces from a to b and the corresponding angular displacement is theta and this displacement takes place in a time t then the angular velocity omega is given by theta by t that is the angular displacement divided by the corresponding time and when the body completes one rotation that is this body it completes one rotation then the angle described is 360 or 2 pi radian and the time taken is the period t that is time taken for one complete rotation it is the period therefore the angular velocity omega is equal to 2 pi by t or 1 by t is equal to 2 pi into frequency that is angular frequency the si unit of omega is radian per second that is period means it's the smallest interval of time after which the process repeats itself and the number of periodic motions made in one second is called the frequency the angular velocity means the rate of angular displacement next is the simple pendulum here the pendulum it oscillates about a mean position and this mean position is also called an equilibrium position because the force acting at this point it is zero 
and when considering the oscillatory motion of a simple pendulum we have to consider two important factors one is a force and another one is inertia these two factors are very important in an oscillatory motion that is from this mean position if the body displays x distance then at this point this body is acted if for acted by a force which is which is oh sorry which tends the body to its mean position and this force is called a restoring force and because of this restoring force the body has a tendency to come to its original position and this force this restoring force acts along the direction of the mean position that is this force is always acts along the direction of the mean position or it has a tendency to come to the mean position and when because of this force the body comes to the mean position and the property of the inertia it overshoot the mean position and the body goes to the extreme position then again at the extreme position the force comes into play and because of this force the body has a tendency to go to the mean position and again the inertia comes into play because of this inertia it goes to the other extreme position that is in an oscillatory motion we have to consider the force and the inertia which are the important factors which determines this oscillatory motion ivide oru restoring force consider cheyumbol ee restoring force in the balamayittu ee body idinda mean position like varunu aa mean position like varumbol avada inertia ennu property kaaranam aa body ku ee motion continue cheyanulla oru tendency undu adu kondu thanne adu mean position il ninnu nere extreme like povunu ee extreme position il ettumbol veendum oru restoring force act cheyunu because of this force the body has a tendency to come to the mean position other mean position like varum ball again the property of inertia it tends the body to the other extreme position thus both the force and inertia plays an important role in an oscillatory motion then in this case if the displacement of the body that is x if it is very small then the restoring force will be very small and if the displacement of the body x is very large then the force will be very large that is the force will be proportional to the displacement or when we say the force it will be proportional to displacement and the acceleration it will be also will be proportional to the displacement but both the force and accelerations are produced opposite to the direction of the displacement that is the force is always trying to bring the body to the mean position and hence it is always directed towards the mean position thus we can define the simple harmonic motion as a motion which is periodic or the body moves to and fro about a fixed point that is the body moves to and fro about a fixed point means it is an oscillatory motion or and it is an periodic motion that is the definition of simple harmonic motion or we can define the simple harmonic motion as a motion it is oscillatory or vibratory or generally it is a periodic motion and in this motion there will be a restoring force and that restoring force restoring force means the force which it tries to restore the original state of the body this restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement from the fixed point displacement from the fixed point it means if the displacement from the fixed point increases then the force will be the force will increase if the displacement from the fixed point decreases the force also decreases and the force will be proportional to the displacement or we can say the acceleration will be proportional to the displacement from the fixed point and this force it is always directed towards the fixed point and this fixed point is called the mean position or the equilibrium position 
and it is called equilibrium position because at this point the resultant force acting on the particle is zero then it is called a simple harmonic motion because here if we consider the displacement of the particle the displacement means E mean position in all the displacement. Alangil E equilibrium position in all the displacement no kyal. That is the displacement of the particle from the mean position. If we consider the maximum displacement, and the maximum displacement is called the amplitude of the particle. The amplitude. And the maximum displacement or the amplitude of the particle will be the same on either side of the mean position that is if the maximum displacement or the amplitude of the particle being the same on either side of the mean or equilibrium position then the motion is called a simple harmonic motion then the motion is called a simple harmonic motion then the definition of a simple harmonic mo motion means that is, it's a motion, harmonic motion is a motion, it is periodic or it is oscillatory or vibratory in which the force will be proportional to the displacement and the force is always acting towards the mean position and this type of motion is called a simple harmonic motion and it is called a simple harmonic because the maximum displacement or amplitude from the mean position will be the same that is the amplitude from the mean position to the extreme that will be the same therefore it is called a harmonic motion or simple harmonic motion but if the displacement is not the same on either side of the equilibrium position it is called harmonic but not simple harmonic then any particle or system which executes this simple harmonic motion is called a harmonic oscillator that is any particle or a system which executing the simple harmonic motion is called a harmonic oscillator for example a simple pendulum is a simple harmonic oscillator then here we are considering the periodic motion or the oscillatory motion this Periodic motion can be represented in terms of the periodic functions. And when we consider the periodic functions, we know that the sine and cosine are the periodic functions. Because if we consider the value of sine over 0 to 360 degree or from 0 to 2 pi radian, then let us take the value of sine 0 90 180 270 and 360 degree and we have already studied the value of sine 0 as 0 and sine 90 as 1 and sine 180 as 0 and sine 270 as minus 1 and sine 360 as 0 that is the value varies from 0 to 360 as 0 1 0 minus 1 0 similarly the value of cos as cos 0 is 1 and cos 90 is 0 and cos 180 is minus 1 and cos 270 is 0 cos 360 is 1 that is the value of cos varies from 1 to 1 0 minus 1 0 1 then if we consider another angles that is from the 360 to 720 then the value will be the same 0 1 0 minus 1 similarly for cos 1 0 minus 1 0 that is if we consider the value of a sine or cosine function from 0 to 2 pi or 2 pi to 4 pi radian or 4 pi to 6 pi radian this value it will repeat that is 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 or in the case of course 1 0 minus 1 0 it will repeat therefore the periodic functions can be represented in terms of sine or cosine functions in simple harmonic motion we are using this period we are using sine and cosine functions 
for representing the harmonic or the periodic functions. Thus, the definition of a simple harmonic motion is that a particle is said to execute simple harmonic motion if it moves to and fro about a fixed point under the action of a restoring force which is directly proportional to the displacement from the fixed point and is always directed towards the fixed point. And this fixed point is called a mean position or the equilibrium position. And a body executing the simple harmonic motion is called a harmonic oscillator. Next is, let the displacement of the particle from the mean position be x and f be the force acting on the particle. Then f will be proportional to minus x. The negative sign shows that both the force and x are oppositely directed. From this equation, instead of the proportionality sign, we can use a constant and this constant is k. And this constant is called force constant or a spring constant. And it is called a force constant because it is a constant connecting the force with the displacement. That is why it is called a force constant. Force constant K is called a force constant because it is a constant connecting the force with the distance or displacement. And it is also called spring constant because the restoring force have, has the property of a spring force. Anyway, this K can be defined as K is equal to F by X. That is, F is the force and X is the displacement. That is, K can be defined as the restoring force per unit displacement. Restoring force per unit displacement. Its unit is force is in Newton and displacement is in meter. That is Newton per meter. Then, if the motion takes place under a restoring force, it is called a linear simple harmonic motion. If the motion takes place under a restoring torque, it is called angular simple harmonic motion. The examples of linear simple harmonic motion are the oscillation of a loaded spring and the vibration of atoms or molecules. Then the examples of angular simple harmonic motion are the oscillation of a torsion pendulum and the oscillation of freely suspended magnet in a magnetic field. Next is the differential equation of simple harmonic motion. The restoring force acting on a particle of mass m executing the simple harmonic motion is given by f is equal to minus kx. But we know that according to the Newton's second law, the force is equal to ma, mass and acceleration, where m is the mass and a is the acceleration. And if x is the displacement of the particle, then the acceleration a can be represented as d square x by dt square d square x by dt square. Therefore, the force will be the mass into d square x by dt square. Here, f is equal to ma and or m into this d square x by dt square and f is equal to minus kx. This is equation would equate to you know. That is, it in the LHS is same as the one that is RHS random equity. That is, m into d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx. Or, d square x by dt square is equal to minus k by m into x. Therefore, d square x by dt square plus k by m into x equal to 0. That is, equating the force f is equal to minus kx and f is equal to m into d square x by dt square and rearranging then we get m into d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx and d square x by dt square is equal to minus k by m into x then d square x by dt square plus k by m into x equal to 0 and put this k by m as omega square so it's a constant k is a constant force constant and m for a given body it is a constant mass then d square x by dt square plus omega square x equal to 0 
and this is the differential equation of a simple harmonic motion that is d square x by dt square is plus omega square x equal to 0. Here the d square x by dt square can be represented as minus omega square x or d square x by dt square means it is the acceleration that is the acceleration will be proportional to minus x because the force will be proportional to minus x therefore the acceleration will be proportional to minus x and this is a simple harmonic motion.